Banteka is a place where scraps and used household items are bought and sold. In Abuja, about three of such markets thrive daily. The ongoing construction of the Abuja Kefi Highway has necessitated the clearing of the sides of the road. After due notices, the authorities swung into action and many traders were affected. <laughs> The leader of the government team says the market harbors criminals. For about eight months now, the city of Meiduguri, capital of Borno State, has been without electricity supply. Terrorists planted improvised explosive devices and brought down transmission towers along the Meiduguri Dematru Highway, which fed the state with electricity. Since then, Maiduguri has been in total blackout, grounding many businesses and causing untold hardship to residents of the state. Now, the federal and state government is making move to change this narrative. Assembled here are government officials, the private sector and other relevant stakeholders ready to offer ways of bringing an end to the constantly vandalization of power and telecommunications infrastructure. The National Emergency Management Agency has distributed relief materials to farmers who were victims of the 2020 flood disaster in Ogun State. The agency's director general made the official presentation of the materials and assured them of the federal government's commitment to the welfare of the citizens. Beneficiaries were presented with pumping machine, sprayer, seedlings, among other things, to assist them to get back to business after the disaster. The representative of the state government appreciates the federal government for the intervention and promised that all farmers captured during the enumeration shall be considered. 